Well, hello my witches and pumpkins, welcome back to my channel and this is my first Halloween haul of 2020 and I am so excited to show you everything because I am the Hallow Queen. You guys know it's my favourite time of year, I love everything about autumn and I love everything about Halloween so I'm super excited to show you everything. Unfortunately, this isn't as big as my normal Halloween hauls that I do because the UK this year has just gone, yeah, Halloween is cancelled. Like, I don't know what's going on. TK Maxx Home Sense, which I normally love at this time of year, is so low on the Halloween stock. Like, the shelves are empty. It's absolutely heartbreaking. So, sadly, not the best selection of Halloween this year, but I'm very excited to show you all the cute items that I did manage to find. Also, I hope you can see me with this hat. I just wanted to give it a whirl because this is so cute. I never wear it because I live in a small town and I'm afraid that I'm going to get judged even though I really shouldn't care. But I just thought I'm going to pop it on for this video, although I do feel like you can't even see me because it's so big, but I like it. So it's on and I got my What's Up Witches tea on. Very cute. So let's get started. I'm going to start with Home Bargains because I recently went there yesterday with my friend Chloe. We were doing a spooks book shop. And I found a few cute items. So in an hour or so, my friend Joan is coming over and we're going to have a girls night. And it's going to be a Halloween spooky movie marathon day and night. And I thought I'm going to do a cute decorated witch theme all around the television where we're going to binge watch our movies. And my dog Jackson is about to jump down on the bed. Hi. Come on then. Oh. Right, then you've got to say hi to everyone. Hi everyone. Say hi. Jack, say hi. Mm, I love you. I love you. You're interrupting the video though. You gonna go? Okay, where are you going then? That's all my stuff, Jax. It's just like people are walking over everything right now. Did you hear that? He just knocked one of the ornaments over. Can you not? Thank you. Do you wanna go out with you? I got some super cute plates. I got some super cute snacks and I'm really excited. So the first thing I purchased from Home Bargains for our spooky movie night is this super cute pumpkin plate. This is just absolutely adorable. Look how cute this is. And this was only about 250 I want to say, maybe less. 150 to 250 I can't quite remember. But I thought it was so cute and I thought some Halloween cakes would look lovely on here or some sort of dessert would look amazing or even candy. I just think this is so cute for our movie night, so I have to pick this up. You'd honestly think I'm five years old picking up a plate like this, but I'm 25 and I have no shame. So that is super cute. I have to get that for our movie night. And then some of the snacks that I got from Home Bargains are these Cadbury's, and Cadbury's is the best chocolate ever. If you were from America or anywhere but the UK, trust your girl, Cadbury's does the best chocolate. So I have to pick these up. These are Cadbury's Skeleton Fingers which I thought were so cute. Look how cute that packaging is. I'm a sucker for packaging. These are adorable. So these are the Cadbury's chocolate finger biscuits, but they're white chocolate instead of milk. And they've got skeleton hands on there. So they're meant to be skeleton fingers. And I just thought this was so cute and I really wanted to give these a whirl. So that was those. And then another form of cute candy that I picked up is the Maynard's Bassett's Dead Chewy Spooky Candy. Again, super cute packaging, so colourful, little ghosties on there, and I love little ghosties. And it says that these are fruit flavoured chews, lemon, strawberry, apricot, and blackberry flavours. I just think they look so cute, I cannot wait to try these. Like, I want to tuck into these right now, but I'm going to wait for Joan to arrive. Super cute. Then, also from Home Bargains, I picked up a lot of candy, and I picked up another cute item to store the candy in. So my friend Chloe actually came up with this suggestion. She was like, they're selling cauldrons. And I was like, yeah. And she was like, why don't you fill it up with candy for your movie night? Chloe is a queen. She knows the drill. So I picked it up. Good idea, Chloe. I got this black cauldron. And it is so cute. And I'm all about being a modern day witch. That's why I say I am. I love Stevie Nicks. I love witches. I love Hocus Pocus. Just anything witch I'm obsessed with. So I needed a black cauldron can't speak. I needed a black cauldron in my life and this is just the cutest cauldron ever and what I did is I filled it up with loads of different candy. So I got a lot of bags of candy from Home Bargains yesterday. I've taken them out with the bags so I can't actually show you but I picked up like this pack of chocolate bars. 
which have these super cute spooky chocolate bars in there so you've got a skeleton and a pumpkin on there you've got a witch one which of course i love you've got a pumpkin one super cute wrapping and packed wrapping super cute packaging love the packaging of those they are adorable and it was a pack of seven I want of those i want to say and they were only about 70 pence i thought that was incredible and i'm doing a halloween box swap super soon so i thought those would be cute to pop in there and then i picked up this bag of body parts gummies so you had little fangs in there and you had little eyeballs um so here's an eyeball super cute <laughs> and then you have got some fingers Ooh, i love it so creepy and then obviously i picked up the classic swizzles candy which is like a big bumper bag of different classic traditional trick-or-treat candy like love hearts were in there and then swizzles candy we've got the iconic drumsticks the halloween version we have got more drumsticks of halloweeny kind of halloweeny kind does that make sense the classic drumstick we got some nudes in here which isn't from the bumper pack this is actually um you don't need to know it's just candy <laughs> You've got the cute lollies with um with the pumpkins on there. I was gonna say skeletons, pumpkin lollies, and then yeah, just a lot of candy. Um, and I am very excited to tuck into that today with John. So love the idea. Cauldron full of candy. Yes. Which way to the candy? Do you get it? Which way to the candy? So that is that. Also from Home Bargains, I thought to go with that candy, me and Joan are going to need a drink. And I saw these super cute skull mason jars for only a pound each. And I thought these would be perfect for our movie night. How cute are these? So I got a black one and I got a purple one. The purple is for me because aesthetic, although I do love the colour black. So that is so cute. So that is my one. It's got a black and white Beetlejuice-esque straw, which is adorable. So I can't wait to drink out of this. And then Joan has got the black one which I think is so cute and I hope she loves it and I just think these are going to look adorable when we're having a movie night. And like I said, a pound each, amazing price for those. And then finally, the last two items that I got from Home Bargains are so cute. They've got a new range this year of hand soaps and bath bombs. I said that so really. They have got a new range this year of hand soaps and bath bombs. And the first thing I picked up was this super cute Frankenstein hand soap and it is apple scented and I can smell it through the wrapping. It smells so good. So it's super cute. I had to get this and this was only like 70 pounds, which has the name suggests of that shop an absolute bargain so I had to get it it is so cute and they also had a pumpkin one which was mango scented but I don't like mango scent so I didn't get that one and I didn't think mango was Halloweeny scented and there was also a vampire one which was strawberry scented which I might get the next time I go in because we are in the middle of a pandemic so I've got an excuse to buy two cutesy Halloween bottles right of hand soap so that is adorable Frankenstein soap I love that and then to go with it, this was about 50 pence, I want to say, I can't quite remember. And it is the matching Frankenstein bath bomb. And a girl can never have enough bath bombs. And this is a super cute apple scented Frankenstein's monster bath bomb. So I can't wait to give this a whirl in my bath. So cute. Next, we are going to move on to the TK Maxx section of this haul. Now, I normally obsess over TK Maxx every single year. But this year, like I said, the UK is just not on. Halloween is cancelled. Not the best selection but I have found my grail Halloween item from TK Maxx. So last year I was obsessed over these purple witch boots that I saw on everybody's Instagram photos and all the Halloween groups I follow on Facebook. And for the life of me, I couldn't find it in any of my local TK Maxx stores. I had friends who were searching for me. Nobody could find these purple witch boots for me. And it was devastating. And finally, I found them this year. Technically, I didn't. My mother went away for two days and she found them in the TK Maxx store that she went into. And she sent me a photo and she was like, are these any good? I don't know if you'd like them being saki because she knew I'd freak. And I was like, mom, get them for me, please. So she's an absolute queen. I love my mother. She kept an eye out for me and she got them. My grail boots, my grail Halloween item. Here they are. They are these absolutely gorgeous purple witch boots I mean the aesthetic this is so me it's witchy it's purple they are gorgeous I love these I can't even deal I'm so happy to finally have these in my life I'm obsessed with these so that purple witch boots like I said and they've got the super classic witchy point here at the bottom where the toes are and then you've got spider webs all over them a black heel 
black laces. I just think these are absolutely gorgeous. Look at that black spider web. I am so obsessed with these and I'm so happy to finally, after two years, have them in my life. So these are everything. And these were about 9 99 I want to say, which I think is a fantastic price. Also from TK Maxx, I picked up these super cute Day of the Dead sugar skull dog and cat ornaments, which I think are so cute. So I recently have been obsessed with the Disney movie Coco, and I'm into Day of the Dead more than ever. So when I saw these, I had to get them, and I love animals, especially doggos. And I just thought these were so cute with the colours and the floral design and the skeleton, the sugar skull vibes and the glitter and the sparkle and the everything basically. I thought these were gorgeous. So here's the cat. So beautiful. Look at those eyes. Incredible details. I love the bright colours. This is absolutely gorgeous. And she was only $4.99 I think. $3.99 even better so only $3.99 and then of course I got the $3.99 doggo to match and he is absolutely gorgeous and he's got a veil on which I thought was a little bit weird but again it's super cute and look at the roses there and the glitter and all the details the bright colours absolutely gorgeous I love this so much so cute and I just think together they look amazing so I love those Normally never expect much from Poundland. I just think it's going to be a meh range and I'm always wrong and Poundland always comes through and has the most incredible items including this super cute item which is probably more so my favourite than the Purple Witch Boots which is saying a lot and it is this super cute little ghosty. My dog is like hard. Stop it. And I just think this is absolutely adorable. Look at that little face. Oh my gosh, I can't cope. It is so cute. It's a little ghosty and he looks so shocked. So at the back, you pop your tea light in there. You can see my lips through the hole. Ooh, -hoo. spooky, 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 okay. So cute. So you pop your tea light in there and it's just going to look amazing lit up. I love this so much. And I have named Boo. I have named Boo. And I have named him Boo. Boo the ghosty. So cute. And that was the end of my Halloween haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, then please do like this video and consider subscribing because that would help me out a lot and I'd be ever so appreciative. And if you are returning, then thank you so much. You guys know that I love you. Stay spooky. Bye, guys.